Hi everyone, my name is Max Steinberg. If you are watching this video, that means you are most likely interested in joining the Front Ensemble with MBI Indoor Percussion, which is awesome. Um, this video is going to talk about two mallet technique and go through an exercise that you can learn along with and play along with um, to help you prepare for auditions. So, first things first, I just want to talk about a few technique things before we actually play. Um, in general, we want to make sure that we keep our body super relaxed, we keep our back straight and our shoulders relaxed and back with good posture all throughout our entire body. Um, for the most part, we want to keep our feet shoulder width apart, make sure we're not locking our knees, um, just keeping everything comfortable, making sure that we're not causing tension in any part of our body so that doesn't correlate to our arms and our wrists. Um, next thing I want to talk about is the grip of two mallets. Um, what I want you to first do is look at the shaft of whatever mallet that you have. It could be a Glock, Vibe, Marimba mallet, anything that plays keyboards. And I want you to take the wooden part of it or the rattan part of it, chop it into thirds visually, first third, second third, third third. And I want you to find where that first third is. And that's where I want your thumb to lie and then I want your index finger to be right on the other side of that, okay? Do that really gently, create that T shape that I'm sure you've heard of before. And then I want you to really gently wrap the back three fingers around the mallet as well. Each finger is gonna be a little bit looser and a little bit more disconnected from your palm as you travel from your pinky to your index finger. And the pinky is gonna be completely wrapped around the mallet with the tip of your pinky really gently touching your palm. Okay, we want to do that super relaxed. We want the mallet to breathe in our hand and not cause any tension or squeezing throughout everything that we do. Okay, now that we've got the mallets in our hands, we want to make sure, first of all, you're doing the same thing in both hands. Um, and then the approach of the stroke is similar to dribbling a basketball or knocking on a door, okay? So we wanna make sure we find the top of our hand in this grip, which is about where your index finger knuckle meets your palm. And we wanna make sure that that stays at the top of our grip at all times. Okay, so we are truly just extending our wrist up and down not rotating our wrist or turning our wrist in any which way so that the path of the mallet stays straight up and down no matter what we are doing. As we play, let's try to be sure that we are um, trying to fill out our instrument or our floor or whatever we're playing on as best as we can and getting big warm sounds at all heights. Everything we do in this video is just gonna be at forte, so try to give it your all with big warm good sounds um, that sound good on whatever you're playing. <clears throat> so the first exercise that we're going to look at with two mallets is a really simple octaves exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to play in 4-4, four, four. we're going to play major scales, eighth notes, we're going to move up and down every scale twice, which means we double the high note and the low note, and then we're going to have a bar of rest and transition to the next major scale moving through chromatically, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is play the first two scales so that you can watch along, um, kind of get a feel for what the exercise is and look at some technique stuff. And then I'm gonna go through every major scale and you have the opportunity to play along with that. So here we go. This is 64 beats per minute octaves.
I'm gonna stop halfway through and I'm gonna change the tempo and I'll let you know what that tempo is too. after moving through chromatically. chop out exercise. <clears throat> so what this exercise is going to look like is we are going to start on our middle C. We're going to play alternating right, left, right, left in the center of the bars. We're going to play a bar of 16th notes in 4-4 on C. And then we're going to play two bars 
on C and then C sharp, and then start back at the beginning. I'm gonna play four bars, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and then we're gonna finish off with eight bars total going from C all the way up to G. Okay, I'm gonna play what that looks like. Go ahead and just listen and learn along and then we will play all together. We have to fight the urge to create tension in our wrists and our fingers. So remind yourself to stay relaxed. Remind your fingers to do no work. Sorry, backtrack a few seconds, Joe. <clears throat> Remember, as tempos get faster, we want to fight the urge to create tension and make things harder for ourselves. So stay relaxed all the way from your shoulders down to the tips of your fingers um, and let the mallets do more of the work. Let gravity pull them down. Let the speed create big warm sound for you. Um, and just try to keep yourself in time with proper technique. Okay, this is 120 beats per minute all the way through everybody. person in the world. Um, if you're playing on an actual keyboard, go ahead and hit the edges on your accidentals. Um, yeah, here we go. already let those back fingers relax even more feel the fulcrum a little bit more in the front of your hand and do a little bit less work with the extension of your wrist to make things easier all right 166 here we go 
Thank you so much for watching MBI Indoor's two mallet instructional front ensemble video.